dropped her off at work and I came back and I seen him laying on the on the couch. He didn't look right. His chest was caving in. Breathing heavily and breathing heavily then and he came and picked me up from work and he just looked so pale. He had no colours on his lips. His yeah. lips were pale. So he looked half dead and then so I just rushed him to the hospital right away and each day from that day was his lungs, then it was his kidneys, then it was his liver, then it was his blood cells and each each day. He just got day. worse and by every day that went on and he got worse. Worse and worse and worse and then after that they told us that they can't do anything else told him to lay with his brothers, with his big bro. So all my little ones were laying with him, in bed with him when he was gone. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't want to let go of him after that. And we just told them that bro was gone. We had to let him go now. And we all sat there. And all the family was there. And when he was taken off, taken off that's when everybody knew that everybody knew he wasn't he wasn't gonna be with us anymore I didn't get to say goodbye to my baby it was so hard though but he came visited visit me in my dreams last night holding me didn't want to let go of me telling me that he loved me loved his bros loved his dad Saying he's sorry that we couldn't say sorry to him that he left so fast. And I told him I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my boy, that we didn't say sorry to you. And I didn't want to wake up from the I didn't want to wake up from the dream because I was holding my baby and it felt so real that he was still here with me.